Hi fairies, welcome back to my channel, Sereja Andrea. I know it's been such a long time since I have came and done like a talk through, get ready with me video, but I'm gonna be doing my hair and makeup on camera and I may or may not, depending on how I feel, I may or may not um, try on some clothes because this is my first time wearing anything. I have like this little uh, pajama set on from Fashion Nova and this is my first time really wearing any type of new clothes. I have no idea what my size is so that's why I haven't really like you know rushed to do a try on haul for you guys or maybe I will like I basically ordered so much stuff from Fashion Nova and Pretty Little Thing and you know forever 21 and stuff but i ordered so many different sizes because i don't really know my true size yet so i don't know like maybe i'll do a tutorial one day where i literally just sit and try on everything i order whether it fits or not just to show you guys in the video i don't know maybe it'd be a little bit entertaining because some stuff might be a little bit too big and then some stuff might be small as hell I got a very deep cut. Um, I have like butterfly stitches on it right now. So um, I have it wrapped up just so that, you know, I'm going to be doing my hair and stuff. So no makeup and hair products get into it and get it infected because Corona, Corona is out there. Okay. This video might be like a little bit rusty because I just practically don't even know how to remember how to remember to do it like a I don't even probably remember how to even do my makeup or my hair so we is about to see how this video is about to go because I don't really know so let's just hope for the best I'm first gonna start by putting my wig cap on <clears throat> I don't really feel like doing the wig cap method just because I am like I don't know this is like my first video back but that don't mean I want to sit here for 50 hours in a day putting a damn wig cap on. So I'm probably just going to like pull it back and it'll be all right just to get my hair out the way. I don't have no nails on. I haven't worn weave in over a month. I haven't worn makeup in over a month. My nails have been gone for God knows how long. Like I just feel bare. I don't have my dermals in. Although... I do need to go to her and have her put in my um, dermals in my shoulder. The dermals in my shoulder are fine, but the ones in my face like literally had to go. Um, so, so, all right, let me go ahead and grab this wig over her. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. Pause real quick because I have to go and get the dye that I use to dye this wig. So, one second. So I have a ton of clips that I'm going to be inserting into the video. I just kind of, you know, if you guys have not known by now, I want to switch up my channel. I just feel like <coughs> it's cool and all that you guys, who I'm out of breath. Hold up. Hold up, wait. I just walked up all them stairs. Whew. I think it's so cool and all that you guys see me as this hair guru, makeup person, and you guys also kind of like my style a little bit, just a little bit. I haven't really showcased my style as much as I, you know, am, as much as I know that my style is like freaking dope in my head. I haven't even really shown you guys my true style yet just because I've just been kind of nervous to really show my body. Not now, but... <clears throat> I was just always just very self-conscious with, you know, showing you guys my body before because I just felt like my boobs were so big. That's why I tell you guys to go ahead and watch my surgery vlog because I pretty much explained everything in that video. I've just always been self-conscious about my boobs. I just felt like my boobs and my body were just like two completely different bodies. So I was just never really comfortable really showcasing everything. You guys obviously saw me post pictures on Instagram and stuff like that, but I just, you know, finesse my way into really showcasing my style sometimes on my Instagram because I always do the right poses to do, the right clothes to fit my boobs, um, you know, the right angles to really take pictures in. And you guys literally never even notice how boobs my big, how big my boobs really were. So. I feel like now I'm just so much more confident. I'm just so happy with my results in my body. That's why y'all about to be seeing my body so much more. Especially when we get into these bikini hauls, sis, because y'all know I'm about to be going on vacation in March. So I'm about to be showcasing all types of bikinis and a bikini haul very soon. I have so much content now that I want to do. And I'm just so happy because I just feel so much more comfortable. Um, you know, because once you change something about yourself, you start to feel more comfortable from within. And then it really showcase um, from without. So that was pretty much my case. I was always, I always felt beautiful inside, but I never really felt beautiful outside. So now that I feel like I'm beautiful outside, now it's about to be a whole bunch of 
bunch of beautifulness, okay? So back into the hair. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys clips um, from me dyeing the wig that I'm going to be showcasing. Let me grab the wig real quick. I'm still going to be doing hair videos, of course, because that's pretty much where I originated from. You guys know me as, you know, doing hair videos all the time, coming up with different ideas, dyeing wigs, stuff like that. I'm definitely still going to be doing wig videos. So I'm just going to be doing them a little bit different just because I want to start being more personal. I want to start talking to you guys more, having more sit down, chit chats and stuff like that, because my personality is, it's there. It is there. And I feel you guys need to see it more. And you're only gonna be able to see it when I'm doing my talk throughs and stuff like that. And just different things, vlogging. I wanna be vlogging a lot more. I just have so much content in my head that I'm gonna be giving out and giving to y'all that I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all just, y'all about to be in for a treat, okay? So this is the wig. I got it from Wig Encounters. I'm going to be putting in the video how I dyed it this color. I just feel like this color is just so freaking bomb. This actually is a kinky straight wig. So I will put the clip in where I dyed the wig. I dyed it using Dark and Lovely. This is their new fade resistant. I believe it's the same formula, new packaging, um, obviously does not look the same. And they also have a new conditioner that you guys have been seeing me use so many times. Let me show y'all real quick. Y'all have seen this in so many different videos as of late because it smells amazing and it just makes the hair feel so good afterwards. Like, oh, it just smells amazing. So I believe in the video, I did go ahead and use about four boxes. Um, not only that, it took the color super well. It even gave it like dimensional highlights. And this wig did not fry or anything like that. Sometimes you got to be careful with these AliExpress companies or just, you know, these overseas companies because their quality is a lot cheaper. That's why they're a lot more affordable. This definitely is a more affordable wig. Um, I will be cutting this because I'm kind of feeling like a bob today. So I don't know. I'm just kind of over the long hair. This is like an aqua length as well. So I'm going to be cutting this bob, but... I mean, I'm gonna be cutting this hair into a bob because that's just kind of the vibe. That's just the vibe I'm feeling today. I don't really know what feeling I'm getting today with this whole look. I don't really know where I'm going with this look today as well. But somebody said in my DMs, I belong to the streets now because of my new body. So I'm about to get on the streets today. We are giving them the streets. Color is just, yes, it's it. And I just feel like brown, brown. I want to say brown bronze. I don't really know what color I was trying to say. But I just feel like this color just complements brown skin tones. You know, obviously my skin tone and darker just so well. It gives me Queen Latifah vibes because I've always wanted Queen Latifah's hair color. I feel like her hair color is just so perfect for her. She's had a hair color for forever. As long as I remember Queen Latifah, obviously like back in the back, back, back in the day. She had like black hair, but then once she stuck to that brown color, that is just a Queen Latifah color. They need to just name that color Queen Latifah, okay? Because it just fits her so well and it's just so beautiful. But this is what the color looks like on, or this is what the wig looks like on my hair. And you guys can see what I mean by the dimensional um, highlights that the hair color had gave it. Um, let me turn around for you guys to see. And also, this is, um, what is this? This also is HD Lace. I will put a clip in this video as well with me showcasing the difference between um, a fake HD, a regular, um, regular transparent lace, and then the HD lace that this wig is on. Um, you guys can definitely see the difference with the fake, the regular transparent, and then the HD lace that Wig Encounters offers. I also did go ahead and tint all three of the laces so you guys can see. Obviously, I am a little bit more chocolate, so um, I definitely have to go in and tint all of my laces. And you guys can definitely see the difference when I tint every single one of them. And the real HD obviously wins the battle out of all three. Here's the thing. I know I've been talking about using the bed head for quite some time now, but I'm kind of, I feel like 
the month that I was away, I kind of changed the way in my head. Like I said, I haven't done my makeup or hair in such a long time, but I've changed the way, you know, in my head of how I want to start to do my makeup. And I've also changed the way in my head of how I want to start to do my wigs. So I'm thinking that I kind of want to lay off the sprays for a little bit, just because the difference when you lay your wig using lace glue and the difference when you lay your, lay your wig using hairspray are just two completely different things. I feel like the, the lace blends in a lot better when you use lace glue compared to a hairspray don't get me wrong i feel like this hairspray is really good but one thing i've noticed is with certain laces hairspray just is not the move sometimes especially when it comes to different hd laces um I just feel like in particular with this HD lace, like I said, I've worn this wig quite a few times now, but I just haven't worn it on video for you guys. And I haven't worn it since like January um, before I went to Miami. That was the last time I tried this wig on. So I felt like when I used the bed head, it just, the lace just did not look right. I feel like because the lace is so thin, I felt like you could definitely see the shininess with this a lot more. And I kind of didn't really like that. So I even tried doing it with the got to be glue or the got to be gel. And even with this, you definitely saw the shininess with this as well. So I was like, you know what? Maybe with this lace, it's just not the move of using either of those products. I'm going to go ahead and try to use it with the um, Bold Hold Active because it's like the only glue that I've been using as far as lace glue as of recently. Zoo, 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 zoo. Okay, first thing, I'm going to put it because I feel like my hairline is just so, because now you can definitely see like where my baby hairs are. So I definitely want to stay away from those and then blow dry it on low heat. Oh. So I don't know if you guys remember me doing this, but like a year ago, I started mixing my um, lace glue with some translucent powder. So this is a color translucent powder. This one in particular is from um, Cover FX. It's their perfect setting powder. I was normally using the Laura Mercier, but I have no idea what a Laura Mercier is right now. And I don't feel like sitting here looking for it. So all I'm going to do is just pour a little bit of powder um, onto my little paper towel I have in front of me and then I'm just going to take the lace glue like this hopefully you guys can see I'm just gonna oops this take the lace glue and kind of just spread it on my little thingy and let me see if I can I'm gonna use this and just mix them both together I feel like I have too much powder and that's the thing, you have to make sure that you don't put too much powder when you do this. So I'm just gonna take this right here and spread that because I just feel like on darker skin tones, it just looks a lot more, you know, natural and better on our skin tone rather than having the white because I just cannot stand when the white shows through my lace. So when you do the method like this, just in case the, um, you know, lace glue does show, it's not going to have a color. And I'm just going to take my blow dryer one more time. I feel like I start to like my, like using lace glue more when I use it with translucent powder, because if I don't use it with translucent powder, then I remember why I don't really like using lace glue. But if I do use it with translucent powder, then it's like I like it a whole lot more. So I'm just going to do the same method all around my hairline. And this is most likely just going to be sped up because it's the same, same-ish different day.
Okay, now that I've got my lace all um, nice and on with the lace glue, I feel like this lay is pretty decent. I feel like this is probably like one of like the best lays I've done with lace glue. Um, like I said, I feel like I do a lot better when I do it with the uh, translucent powder because if I don't do a little translucent powder, I feel like I always have a cast from the lace glue and I freaking hate that. So the first thing I'm going to do before I put my headband on, I'm just going to take a rubber band and let me get my mirror. I'm just going to take a rubber band and just part the hair wherever I have the part. So my part is like slightly on the side. So I'm just going to get my hair and comb it. Make sure I don't have anything behind my ear because that will kind of mess up, you know, what I'm trying to do. Okay, I'm going to stand up for this, honestly, because I don't want all this hair on me. And I'm just going to cut, cut, cut. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and like, you know, bump the ends and everything a little bit later. But first, I'm just going to start to do my makeup. So I'm just gonna pull all my little hairs behind me. And we definitely need to have this lace lay down. So I'm just going to cut this band on. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is my brows. I do my um, makeup pretty quickly now. Um, because I don't really do like super heavy, heavy coverage all the time anymore. Um, so I'm going to start by using the Fenty, um, Beauty Brow Pencil. This is in the color Black Brown. And I'm just going to use this to do at the top of my brow. And I'm just going to use this to do at the beginning of both of my brows. You know what's crazy? Even the way that I'm doing my makeup is different because I don't have a ton of boobs to kind of go over. That was always my problem before because my boobs are just so freaking big. It even, it was to the point where it even came in the way of me doing my makeup. Um, this eye will always be a lot different than this, this eye because I always have to like go over my boobs because I am right-handed. But now it's like I don't have that problem at all. And it feels so weird doing this because I'm so used to having my big ass boobs in the way of me doing my damn makeup and then i'm going to take the benefit precisely my brow this one is actually donezo here he is my new one and this is in the color or the number four and i'm going to use this on the tail of my brow my um brow lady did my brows pretty good this time um i did get my brows waxed the other day i believe it was on monday Okay, so now I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in the color 410. I love to use this concealer for cutting underneath my brows. And I also just use the applicator. I've been doing this method for a long time now. I feel like, whoa, 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 thank you. I feel like it just makes the process go by so much quicker. And I just love the applicator. It just does the damn job. It feels so weird doing my makeup now. It was so weird. Um, so now I'm going to move my headband back a little bit. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is use this Essence um, Primer. This is no pore boom prime essence. It has calendula, calendula flower extract in it. And it just does a really good job with hydrating my skin because you guys know I am like normal to dry right now. I don't know what that's all about because I used to be super freaking oily, but now I'm like more dry. Now I'm going to take the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I feel like I'm flying through my makeup right now, which is a good thing because, you know, natural beauty, natural beauty over here. I don't be needed too much, you heard. 
Now I'm gonna take two, my little bitches. Now I'm gonna take two foundations, the Anastasia Luminous Foundation in 480C and mix a little bit of the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation in 450. The 450 from Fenty is actually too dark for me, but I mix a little bit in with the 480C from Anastasia because the Anastasia is actually a little bit too light for me. So, you know you know you know how that goes so this bottle is a hot as mess i just want a little bit just a little bit and then take the fancy that is clearly too much i'm only gonna do like a zip zip do people still dab nowadays or is that like done so i'm gonna take this little small morphe brush it's 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 off i don't know i don't know what number it is i don't know what number it is sorry but I'm going to take and mix those two colors together because this makes, come on, remix, remix. It makes like my perfect shade. And I'm only going to go in certain areas. Well, I'm technically going to go like all over my face. But I feel like using this small brush is not like I'm like really caking on the foundation because I really only need the foundation in certain areas. And that's on my chin because I have like a whole freaking beard. I want to stay away from the monarchs. Stay away from the monarchs. Do a little bit to cover up that one dermal scar. Go over Mr. Mustache. Um, take a little bit just to blend out that concealer underneath. And I'm going to, there we go. Now it's melting. I feel like I used to never do like the melting stage of my laces and maybe that's why I didn't really care for using lace glue because this step is mandatory. If you don't do the meltdown with your lace with like a scarf or something, it's a dub. Like your lace is not going to look like how this does. So the way I get the shininess to come apart or to come apart, what the hell? What is this outside? Is this a freaking bus or something? Now the way that I get the shininess to kind of disappear, I just kind of brush my brush over top lightly on my lace and it literally just starts to fade and disappear away. And of course it definitely helps the fact that I have um, some of the makeup on the lace glue. So that definitely helps but and it just looks a lot better when i do it more of like a natural foundation look than so much caking on the foundation like i did before so now i'm gonna move on to my concealer i'm gonna be using two concealers today i'm gonna use the fenty 410 the same one we use to cut underneath our brows and i'm also going to take the fenty 360 to give like a touch a touch of a highlight and on this side i'm not going to put too much because of my little butterflies you guys are asking me why i got my butterflies but like i said i got them because of the dermal scars and plus i feel like they look so cute and i'm not going to put any concealer on my forehead because i don't want it to get into my lace because my lace is looking laid and i'm going to take the 360 and apply right over top but only really so much by the nose and going down the bridge and a little on my chin now i'm gonna let this concealer sit for a little bit and now i'm gonna move on to the eyes so i'm gonna take that fenty 360 we're pretty much just using like all the same products we don't use well we <laughs> i don't use that many products nowadays i'm just trying to keep it real cute and simple you know what i'm saying now i'm gonna take the same brush that we use for the foundation and I'm just going to blend out my concealer now I'm gonna take what is this my Fenty I'm using a lot of Fenty but I just love her products so much I'm using the Fenty matte matchsticks and espresso and truffle you guys have seen me use this so many times I don't care to use anything else to contour my nose I feel like these two just do me justice and I'm also gonna take espresso and I'm also going to take espresso just a little bit to chisel out my cheeks. 
really not using as much foundation as I used to. I want to take this Morphe E4 angled blending brush. I'm just going to pat that product into my cheekbones. Now I'm going to take my Huda Beauty powder in Blondie to put underneath my eyes and wherever I put my highlight. And I'm going to use this Morphe E49 brush. I'm going to chisel out my cheekbones even further using the Prime Beauty bronzer in Brownsville. Um, my all-time favorite bronzer I've been using to date. And I'm just going to take this Morphe M405 brush just to chisel out my cheekbones. I'm going to take my favorite nose chiseling brush. This is the Morphe M452 brush. And I'm going to take that same powder and contour my nose. I'm going to take this Fenty bronzer, but I actually use it as a blush. This is mocha mommy and i'm going to take this morphe m527 brush i love to use this for using my blush it's a nice wash of color now i'm going to powder my face using the mac dark deepest mineralized powder this is like a og o o o g of powders and i'm going to put this everywhere over top of everything to make sure it all blends last powder before we powder up our face i'm going to use the mac studio fix powder at nc45 to bring back some more of that highlight love to use this step i feel like it's so mandatory especially when taking pictures so make sure that you don't have flashback but you have a nice highlight underneath the eye and I'm going to also want to take this on the chin, forehead, and nose. And I'm just going to spray down my face and then we're going to move on to the eyes. Let me cover up my little hairline. Now for the eyes, it's going to be so simple. I'm going to do more or less like a, I mean, it's going to be super soft, but I guess you can just call it soft glam because it's not like an average everyday type of look, but it's like a little subtle glam. So I guess that's why they call it soft glam. So I guess it's about to be like a soft glam type of look, but this is what I do all the time. I'm going to take my um, face powders, the same one I use. I'm going to first take the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish and... I'm gonna take this Morphe, sorry my camera cut off, but I'm gonna take this MAC 340S brush and dip that into my um, MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. And we are just going to buff this color in the crease. Love using this big blending brush for that because it's more or less gonna be like a wash of color. I'm also gonna put some at the top of the brow bone. Just patting that in to seal in that concealer. I'm now gonna take the Prime Beauty Brownsville bronzer and take this Morphe M441 brush and give a little bit of depth to this look and put this on the outer crease. And I'm taking it pretty high, kind of going towards my brow like I'm not curving it and coming down, I'm taking it upward. Just makes an illusion like the eye is bigger than what it is. Cause I have like a lot of um, lid space, but I wouldn't really say I have like a big eye. Now I'm gonna take this Dazzling Shadow Liquid Shadow in Rayon Rays from MAC. You guys have seen me use this plenty of times. I'm going to put it on the back of my hand because I don't want it to be too intense on my eye. And I'm going to take a blending brush. This is a Morphe M457 or 456 brush. I'm going to take that liquid lipstick or liquid, liquid shadow. And I'm just going to apply this on my lid. I literally love this shadow so freaking beautiful and i'm also going to take it up where we took our um bronzer 
You can't just fade that in. Beautiful. Beautiful. I want to take this Sephora liner and I'm not going to do a wing or anything. I'm just going to put a very thin line on my lash line. I just want you to know wow, 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 wow. Now I'm going to take some lashes and put some lash glue on. And while the lash glue dries, I'm going to do my mascara. I'm going to take my Fenty mascara and full frontal. I freaking love this mascara so much. I feel like it doesn't like clump up my lashes. And I love it in particularly for doing before my falsies. Because I feel like it does a really good job with coating my lashes. Then last step, well, not really last, but I'm going to take this Anastasia Dip Brow Liquid Thingy. <laughs> it's in the color chocolate and I'm just going to seal in my brows. All right, so now I'm just going to take the mascara and put it on my lower lash line. Now I'm just going to step this look up just a little touch more. But first, I'm gonna take some makeup wipes. I've been looking on Pinterest, since you guys know I've had no life the past month. Um, all I've been doing is just researching and looking things up on the internet, um, coming up with different videos I wanna do, um, how I want to rebrand my channel. And I've just been seeing like people do wing liners or not really like wing liners, but like they've been adding, but they've been adding, you know, rhinestones where they would normally do like a wing. And I think I kind of want to do that. And I think it would be like a really nice and cute effect, especially with my butterflies. Good thing I got my butterflies on this side because this is kind of the side that you guys really see as far as the video footage. But I'm going to, I have the idea in my head. So I got these little Swarovski thingies, Swarovski crystals. I don't think they're real Swarovskis, um, but I got them from Amazon. I think it was like five bucks. So that's how you know it's not real Swarovskis because they were only $5. And I'm just going to start applying, applying these in different areas. Um, just because I feel like it's just going to kind of bring this look to the next level. I'm just gonna take my lash glue and apply it right in my tear duct. Well, not right in my tear duct, but you guys know what I mean. And I have this little tool. It came with the um, package. I didn't have to buy it separately or anything. So I want to start applying and I'm using the smallest. I'm using the smallest stones to do this because I feel like it's only gonna look right with the small stones. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so now I'm going to start to do it as if it was like a wing. That's so cute, you guys. I feel like it's so subtle, but it's so cute at the same time. Ooh, let me do this side. This is so cute. All right, now I'm going to do my lips. I'm going to do my lips. As far as the lips, I'm just gonna take this MAC um, lip liner and line my lips. Now I'm gonna take this Fenty Clear Gloss and Glass Slipper. Y'all know I love me a clear gloss and I love to just do lip liner with clear gloss. I think it's just so freaking cute. It's so 90s vibe. Ooh, this is big. Like not thick in a bad way, but like thick as in like, you really getting gloss from this. Like this is what I mean. Like it got a little drip to it. Eek! Oh my gosh, I think this look came out so freaking cute. This came out so cute. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and style. There it goes. There you go. Y'all see this? 
this is the best this this is the best i've done this is the best i've done is it not oh this is honestly the best application or i said application this is the best install i've done to date period period and we ain't got no freaking baby hairs okay this lace is everything you can definitely tell like you can really 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 tell the difference with fake hds and real hds and this my dear this my dear is a real hd and this is like not really a bob this is more like a shortcut so i think i want to um take my flat iron this is an eap heat flat iron um and i'm gonna give like a few little bumps on this side but i'm thinking that i kind of want to just leave the wig straight like as it is because like i said it's giving me more like a shortcut than it is a bob so i think the shortcut is actually like really freaking cute all right so actually on this side i feel like i have too much lace like excess lace because this is like lifting up so i'm just gonna go ahead and cut that off let me get my scissors real quick what let me find out what i have to do which is take a month break from youtube to actually know and figure out what the hell i'm doing with these laces and lace glue this is so bomb wig encounters we're gonna have to talk we're gonna have to do another install because this install it's just everything i think i want to do like blonde hair maybe next if they have like a blonde hd i will gag so I'm going to take my EAP heat and I'm just going to do like a few bumps on this side. I don't know. I don't really know how to feel. Yeah, I'll do like a few little bumps going backwards. But this color, this color is just everything. But I'm thinking that I want to do like a little bump just because this side is like a little bit high for my liking. This side is like absolutely perfect. I feel like this side is always like my best side. That's why I didn't get piercings there to hide my ugliness. This side was obviously my ugly side. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys really liked how everything came out. I feel like this is honestly like the best frontal lay that I've done to date. Please clock me. Y'all been coming at my neck recently saying that y'all feel like y'all been seeing my laces a lot um in my videos but probably because i was like rushing a lot of videos everyone has their days and that has their moments so i felt like those videos weren't really like my best because i definitely had to get them done before i left for miami so maybe that was the case and that's just like in all honesty let the streets know she's back so yes wig encounters we're gonna have to talk again we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do another collab because this lace this wig listen sis this is everything this is everything and i think this wig was only like a hundred hundred and so dollars it's like freaking cheap for the lace to be this phenomenal and for the wig itself to be this bomb i'm all about the hd if you don't have hd lace i'm most likely i don't even want to no 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 I'm just all about the HD. I feel like I'm just too spoiled with the HD. I feel like the HD just looks so bomb. Um, one trick, like I told you guys in the video, if you guys are like my complexion or darker, it's best if you use some translucent colored powder. What the hell? It's best if you use colored translucent powder. So you can use Cover FX. And I know that Laura Mercier um, or Laura Mercier um, makes a colored powder um as well so yes i feel like if you don't have it go out and get it and pair it with this john i feel like i always talk my hands like this because sis please somebody clock me please do please do please do please do all angles i'm giving y'all all angles thank you guys so much for the support Thank you guys for staying tuned and sticking with me through all my inconsistencies because I've been recovering and it's been very rough, but I am back. I um, hope to see you guys in my next video. Make sure to like, subscribe, tell everyone in the mom that I am back. Share this video. Tell the world. Tell the world I'm back. And yeah, love you guys. Bye.